Hi, welcome to Max Wheeler. In today's episode, I want to share with you my thoughts of the new B12 High Torque. This is my new wheel, so let's see how it, how it is. Before we start, I want to share with you why I'm a bit sour with Inmotion. My first wheel was the B8F, and sadly I got the please repair message. So I was a bit skeptic about it. I talked to my dealer, I was able to get a new one. And then I used it for like about a hundred kilometers because I got another wheel. And when I sold it to the person that I sold it, uh, after 200 kilometers, it broke again. So for me, in motion was like a big no-no. But now I decided to give a second chance. We always need to give second chances. So I decided to buy this high torque to see how it performs. And let me tell you that once I got it, I got it uh, used with about 20 kilometers. I was very impressed. When the guy came out of the apartment with this in his hands, I was like, wow, it looks amazing. Because on the pictures, it looks like ugly, like kind of like a cardboard box with like a tire. I didn't like it, but once you compare it, it's like, wow, it was very, very nice. So let me start with the handle. The handle is a bit weird, like all in motions. It's just like one stick that you kind of like, like grab like, like this. It's, it's not my preference. I prefer when it's like a, a real like trolley handle. But, I mean, what we can do about that? The thing that shocked me the most was the screen. Because the screen is super bright and legible. It's, it's touch screen, it's like, a, it's like a phone. It's very responsive. Like, as you can see, I can, well, yeah, there you go. I can configure the wheel from here and that's, the best screen I have seen on an electric unicycle. Another thing that really stuck out for me was the mudguard because the B12 regular version has just like one like cut like that and it looks very bad. But this one looks like a, like a little dock, like a dock. Uh, so it's, it's very, very nice. The stand, as you can see, is very like, is usable. Like you can really use it. It's very firm. I don't have any trouble with it so far. It's like a brand new wheel. The only problem that I have is that sometimes I think I will forget to put it back like on top and maybe I will like scratch it with something, but I don't know, we will see. Another thing that I really love was the lights because as you can see, one click is like this uh, kind of pointing down, then you have the, the second beam that is like, I think, pointing like upwards. And then the third click is like all in. So pretty good for that. It's very convenient to drive uh, in the night. But, and the big but, is that there is no taillights. I mean, you gotta have on the effects of the wheel. So this will change to red, but I wouldn't take it at night. That's why I decided to personalize the wheel as Max Wheeler style, as you can see. We put some reflective tape here, so I'm like more visible at night. For the pads, these are like uh, the motion pads. They, they come in two pieces. I didn't install them, it was like that when I bought it. But uh, to be honest with you, I think there is no need for pads. And if I will have some pads, I will like buy the Grizzly pads for this one because I really like them. But I don't know, I got them with it. So let me just show it to you like very fast. Are like these pads. Later in the review, when I do like the test, the test drive, I will like try to drive it without pads and then, then with pads. Uh, another thing that was way better than my B8F is the, the grip tape on the pedals. The grip tape on the pedals is very firm, it's good. 
not as grippy as the veteran Sherman, but it's very nice. And they thought about the grippiness of it because in the veteran Sherman, when you close the pedal, it touches the hard plastic and it makes marks. Here, you have like a little stop. So it's very convenient. I, I really liked it. Uh, the charge ports are like right here in the back. We just have one charge port, which I would like to see two because this is not a long range wheel. So I can have like my two chargers and juice it up when I'm like driving in a group. It has a USB-C and USB-A type to charge my phone or like a speaker or anything. But one thing that this wheel has that my other wheel don't have is the speakers. So I can connect my phone with my Spotify or Apple Music and I can play the speakers and they are pretty loud. Another thing that is very impressive and I believe is very useful is the new tire. The new tire is like very beefy. Like I, I, I assume that I will be able to pass bumps and holes on the street with ease. And that's very good because it's a very small wheel. It's a 16, 16 inch wheel. So that's very, very convenient. Uh, another thing that you probably would like to do to it is to put some like covers right here on top of it and right here on the back in case of a crash. Now, the, the kill switch. The kill switch is right here in behind the handle, like typical in motion. And the good thing about it is that you can basically do this and it's gonna be like on, no problem. And then you can get back on, release the switch and it's gonna balance. Very, very nice. Now, when I bought it, I thought it, it was going to be like a small wheel because it's a 16 inch wheel. And I wanna show you something that you're gonna be impressed. I wanna compare it to my veteran Sherman in the side. As for the weight, the wheel is not as light as you might imagine. It's kind of, it's okay, but uh, I don't know. I, I would think about that before buying this as a small wheel. And for the size, like my Sherman is on a stand, so it's, uh, it's already lift up a bit. And as you can see, it's almost the same size as my Sherman, which is, uh, my Sherman is a big wheel. And this being a 16 inch wheel, well, I don't know. I don't know what, what you guys think. Another, another important thing that I would like to mention to you that happened to me is that when I uh, connected the, the charger, yesterday because it was the first time I was like trying to plug it in uh, I, I heard like a so I don't know if it was like a spark like a something uh, I, I read in internet that that's because the wheel was off and I just plug in the wheel and it made like a spark but they say that if I plug it in when it's on it's not gonna happen and if I plug in the wheels first if it's off, plug it in first and then to the wall, it's gonna be okay. So I don't know what to think about that. We buy in motion because it's very safe, but making a sparkle, like I don't know like how bad it's gonna be, we'll see. Uh, another thing that is like kind of weird for me is that I charge it 100%. I use it for one kilometer just to go pick up some groceries and it dropped from 100% to 95%. So I am I'm not able to tell you if it's because the battery is very accurate and that would mean that you lose one percentage per kilometer that you do, which will be like, okay, like very amazing. Or if it's gonna just like drop till 20% and then like you're, you're dead, you cannot drive it anymore. Uh, it's a 100 board wheel, which is uh, pretty good. And uh, I will tell you more about the performance in my, in my test drive. So what I want to, to do right now is uh, to try to make a, the, the sparkling. So I will connect it and see if it's on right now and see if I get the, the sparkle. So, okay, no sparkle. So pretty nice. And as you can see, when you're charging, you have, a, you have a screen that is telling you that it's charging. 
and you can see here that, uh, like, a, like a phone, it's, it's crazy. I think it's one of the best things of, of Emotion, the features. There is many ride modes, there is, there is many, many things to personalize this wheel. So I hope I did a good decision buying it and not, uh, I will have no trouble, we'll see. Uh, apparently the MOSFETs are clear for this version, so there are not going to be any cutouts or anything like that. But uh, there are other YouTubers like Adam from Runway that he got bad software on it and he was trying to drive it and, and the wheel just took him down. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm nervous about it. I, I, I love the product, it's very high quality, the plastics. I can't even say that the, the plastics are are, are even like better than my Sherman and my Sherman the plastics are amazing so whew, we'll see we'll see what happened I'm nervous about it I'm gonna use full gear while doing my 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 review and I hope this wheel is gonna be part of uh, the max wheeler uh, wheels I, I plan to to have uh, my signature wheels uh, that are gonna be recommended to you guys to buy and uh, we'll see how that goes uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first impression of the B12 High Torque and see you in the next ride. Don't forget to like and subscribe.